Hey, I'm Kyle. I'm excited to get into this demo. So without further ado, let me walk you through Client Manager. So right from the start, we are on the dashboard. And first things first, you'll notice it is super clean. We don't want to overcomplicate it. We want to keep the UI beautiful, sleek, simple. So on the left-hand side, we've got our navigation, project management from clients, proposals, time tracking, and then the admin stuff like settings. On this whole section here, we've got our clients, team members, and then the calendar dashboard. At the top, we've got our support section, notifications as they happen. So let's say a client signs a proposal or completes a questionnaire or contract or something, you get notified. Then we've got our goals. This is always very helpful, you know, for monthly or yearly goals. And then reminders, daily reminders on what is happening in your events. So the calendar is pretty simple and straightforward. You know, you can check out the next month, month and week and day view. Add an event, what you would expect, you know, the what and when. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the whole dashboard. Now let me actually show you where the magic happens and that is the project management. So this is your client dashboard and you'll notice here that we can add a new client from here or this section. And add a team member, I'm gonna to get to that shortly, but for now, let's just add it while we are here. So add a new client and then we just click continue. I've got a few clients added already, so I'm not gonna walk through the rest. While I'm on the dashboard, team member is very simple. So what you do is you add a team member, you know, name, email, select the role, and to explain the role, we've got general project manager or admin, Obviously, you know, general is general employees, project manager, more for managers and admin. It's basically just restrictive roles. Same principle, you know, you add them, send, they get an email to accept the invite, and then they can join your team. Then you can assign them to clients to work on, which I'll walk through shortly. Just as a quick note, I should mention that I'm on the small team plan of client manager and basically there, there are no restrictions in, in the sense of the freelancer plan, you get all the features, the only difference is you won't see team members. Small team plan, large team plan, only difference is the number of members and users you can add to your account. So this is our client dashboard, pretty simple, list of all your clients, status, you know, the information. Now let us go to actually managing a client. This is where the real magic happens. So on the left hand side, we've got the basics, you know, the contact details. Then on this side, we've got our team members and we can assign team members based on, you know, the roles. Same thing here, Let's, we select the team member, the role, and then the hourly rate. I should mention that the hourly rate is only visible to admin and project management roles, as that also applies to time tracking. And it would be quite weird you know, if someone else can see the hourly rate of other members. And also to add the admin and, and project management, this whole dashboard looks the same for the admin and project management. For normal team members, you wouldn't be able to see, for example, the client onboarding and proposals because that might have certain sensitive information, right? Like certain pricing or something. As well as the documents, I'm gonna get into it now, but you'll see that there's invoices section. So that might only be applicable to admin and project management. All right, now that we have that sort of admin notice out of the way, let's actually get to using this now and walking through it. So at the top, we've got client and project management. That's all of this stuff here, which we'll get through to. And then the client onboarding. This is generally where you start. So let's start with a questionnaire, and that is building a custom URL to send to a client. And it's basically a form with all the information. Let me show you how it looks. So now we are on actually an answered form, which I've built up for Bob the Builder. And these are all the answered questions. Yeah, all these answers, and then also the information, the files that he uploads to it, pending answers. So we can see this, right? Now let's actually walk through building a form from scratch. Let's use the title, Milky Onboarding. So the cool thing about this is we've got some pre-populated questions for your onboarding URL to get the information. But what's nice about it is you can delete it or edit it. Whatever question you don't like or you want to add to, improve, whatever, you can do it. Uh, in this one here, logo images, you know, they can upload the files, profile image, all that. We are working on a way to add, you know, let's say new forms or new questions. 
Um, but for now, this is this is it. Super sleek, super simple. Once you are happy with editing your form, save and preview. Now this is pretty much what the onboarding form will look like to the client. Once you are happy with it, you know maybe we want to edit some style stuff here. Then we go copy link. From there, super simple. We send it to the client. Now this is what the client sees. Very straightforward. It explains everything here. What the business does. They fill it out. You know, boom, boom, boom. Just going to show this very quickly. You know, upload their files. There we go. And then save answers. Now the moment they do this, we will get notified in our notifications as well as on the onboarding form section. All right, now that we've done the questionnaire, let's move on to proposals. So all proposals start off with a default pre-populated proposal. This is actually the proposal template that I use. It's quite simple, but you know, you can edit it, you know, based on what you want. We are working on ways to add proposal library so you can choose a lot of different proposals but for now let's work with this let me just walk through how it works so the main thing is you want the digital signature right so you can add your signature yeah and what's really cool is we've got three different types you can choose text image or draw but for the sake of this demo I'm just going to use text once we are ready we go to view preview we're happy, copy the link, and now we send this to the client. Once the client clicks on the link, this is what they see. So after they sign up, they can always download the form PDF, go right to the bottom, whoops, client signature. So let's say they also want a text, so they go, Boom, and then we have it. And then it will show on our side as well as the notification. The client can always download it if they want to. All right, we're done with the client onboarding. Hope you can tell that it's super simple and we are working on ways to make this even better in the future. For now, let's take a look at the actual project management. So let's start with tasks. In this case, we can see that we've got general and monthly tasks. General are, you know, just a general usual task. Monthly, maybe you've got a retainer or something with the client. It's very helpful to have both yeah so in this case super simple think of notion and Trello having a baby that's what we have here so we can just drag and drop let me just move this back and to expand a card we just click on it okay and this has all the information that we have here you know status urgent if we want to market assigned to team members our description due date categories and then also comments. So we can tag other members in our team and then we'll get notifications and then reply back to pretty much make things happen, right? Uh, then we move on to filter. We can filter certain tasks, urgent only, assigned to certain people, due date within certain days, categories and so on. So super clean, super simple. Now let's take a look at the assets. This is basically all the documents and everything that you need you know, for certain projects. Very clean and easy to add an asset, PDF image, or paste the URL. Same thing for media and designs. Let's take a look at documents now. Same principle, you know, pretty much has everything that you need. Contracts, reports, miscellaneous, invoices. Now, one thing I want to walk you through is actually building a contract, and we have this functionality. So all you do is you click this button. If you've got an existing contract, you upload it, build a contract, then it pre-populates an existing contract service agreement that I use. And yeah, it works really well. It works in the same way as the proposal, so I'm not going to walk through that, but there you have it. And finally, on the specific client dashboard, we have got services. Very simple. That's just your once-off services as well as your monthly services. So let's say you've done a whole list of things, you know, development, setup, all that type of stuff, but you might want to you know, upsell a client three months from now or six months from now. At least you can add it all here. And then also same thing with monthly services, you know, to do all these tasks done. It's a really convenient way to see what is cooking on specific clients. Let's navigate to proposal dashboard. And this is basically all your proposals with your status on your different clients. And you can either view, download or edit. Let's take a look at time tracking. So very simple and straightforward. We are working on a lot of ways to automate this and improve a lot of things. But for now, it's very clean and easy to understand. So over here, we've got the projects. 
we just open it up we can see all the information for each project and under each project is the specific time entry so if we want to add a new project we just go yeah select the client and we just type in the type of project that we want to do now we've got our project let's expand it we want to add a new time entry let's go And there we have our time entries. If we do make a mistake, we can always edit and delete. And just to be clear, these amounts can only be seen by the admin and PM. So as you can tell, super simple, super sleek. And that is pretty much the 8020 of client manager settings. I'm not going to really walk through this. This is the boring admin side of updating your account. And uh, one thing, two things to mention is the social. So we've got an amazing community. It's only reserved for client manager users. Uh, we are very user-centered, so we want to make Client Manager better every single day and every single month, and this is a great way to get user feedback. Then the other thing to mention is our roadmap. I'm going to walk you through that. So what you see here is our public roadmap, and we've got a lot of suggested features, planned features, working on these and done. I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can take a look to see what we have in the pipeline. We're really working on making Client Manager better, as I mentioned, so I'm not going to mention it again. So yeah, please take a look. And hopefully this is enough to convince you to sign up. If you do have any questions, please feel free to contact me at support at climbmanager.io or kyle at climbmanager.io or on Twitter or whatever. And I'll try and help you as best as I can. Hope this helps. Thank you so much.